posted pictures of uh, Red Dead Redemption, I think it was. Was that what it was? Yeah. yeah. And and uh, he, he said, I finally got pestilence! Like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, sweet. You get, you, I've never heard somebody so excited about, about getting a pestilence. disease. Yeah, about yeah. getting a disease. Woo! But uh, <laughs> he's a major gamer. Uh, Great guy, funny comedian. Um, we're glad to have him here. He's been he supports us. He comes here all just about all every week. Um, and it and it does take a real man to wear pink. Yeah, and and you know there there I would like to say you know there there are a lot of comedians that are that are definitely dedicated to the craft here yes. uh, in Omaha. And this guy is definitely on the top of that list of dedicated people. He goes to all the open mics, does all that good stuff. So. Let's get him up here so he can uh, make some funny for you. Everybody give it up for John Mango! Uh, what's up, folks? Thanks for that one clap. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, now you motherfuckers want to start doing it. I'm not handing out prizes for clapping. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I found something out the other day. Well, actually a couple things. One, is that people will call you if you fall asleep at their house with their shoes on. Which, I mean, I used to do it to people. They would get really mad and I would never understand it. Now that it's happened, I feel their pain. Second thing I learned is apparently Cool Whip started making menthol flavor. Most people call it shaving cream. But, uh, I just found it to be delicious. And it's crazy though, cause like, I fell for the old tickle the nose and he'll try and wipe it off trick twice. I was in a real deep sleep. And for some reason my first instinct when I woke up was to eat it, which, that just tells me I got problems with tasting things. No wonder I'm so big. But it's great though. But it really just displays bad habits for if I wake up with creamy white shit on my face. I'll probably just start licking it. That's not good. Some people might find that to be dangerous. But it's crazy though, because that got to me to thinking. And I don't think I would ever, you know, want to hook up with the Kool-Aid man, because afterwards, I'd be afraid I'd got to catch the Kool-Aids. Is it too soon? Shucks. So I recently found a job. Not too proud of it, but it is money. Working at the old McDonald's. It is kind of cool though, because I get hit on a lot because I'm in the drive-thru, like the big dude, the drive-thru, and I'm black, so that comes in handy. And it's like way out west, so people are like, oh, this big scraping black man is making my food for me. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing shit. They made me shave my beard, goddammit. As if my hairs are going to somehow fall into a burger when I'm way over by the back booth. But it's crazy though, because I get hit on by like 16 year old girls all the time. That's why I have a beard, because otherwise I look just totally prepubescent. Which is a good thing, because I get carded all the time, but at the same time, I get carded for stupid shit. Like rated R movies at Walmart. <laughs> Are you 17? Are you sure you should be watching Harold and Kumar? <laughs> God damn it. You don't say shit when I was buying a little mermaid. If anything, that's the most dangerous one. <laughs> Why is a big black man buying the Little Mermaid? That's just creepy. It's because I want to live under the sea. I want to be Sebastian instead of eating him when I go to Red Lobster. It's shameful. But during unemployment, I started watching a lot of Jersey Shore. Yeah, I, to kick that habit, I started doing meth. <laughs> Which is a lot more beneficial. <laughs> Everything's cleaner. Yes, I have, Randall. Where do you think my hair went? Sold that to get a meth rock. <laughs> if that's what they're called. <laughs> Alright, I lied. I don't do meth. I just still smoke a lot of weed. Which, smoking weed's fun. Yeah. 
It is. Believe it or not. It's a great... I like to do it and then take a shower because then it feels like I'm going swimming. Because I don't really like to get in the pool because I've got moves. <laughs> it's the truth. I've got moves. I've been looking on the internet for ways to get rid of them. A lot of people are like, well, you should try herbs. I'm like, sweet, I'll just keep smoking weed. <laughs> but that's not working because nowhere in it does it say keep buying Little Debbie snacks. <laughs> They're like a dollar thirty-nine for a big old box. That's cheap. It's like that is cheap. <laughs> it's too simple. They'll sell them to anybody. You go into Walmart and give them your money, and they're like, oh, I guess you can have them. <laughs> you seem responsible enough. I think they should start carding for that shit. If your weight is above two hundred, you cannot have little Debbies. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Let fat people breathe too much. It's crazy though. It's, it's just really crazy, especially now that I work at McDonald's. I don't eat the shit, because I see the people that come through, and sometimes I feel a lot really ashamed, because it'll be a chick with a really hot voice, and I'll be like, hey, hey, bet you she's hot. And I always lose the bet. It's always some chick with like six chins. I don't know why she gets the diet pop. Let me get that 20 piece McNugget. No, make that two. Of, actually, like, give me three of those. And like 80 barbecue sauces. And a water. Like, damn. And then the kid, and then she, they always have a kid in the seat, and you know who's getting the water. It's like, damn, can you at least buy him a Happy Meal? And he's looking really unhappy right now. It's fucked up too because they took me off the front counter because I handed some kid his Happy Meal. I was like, there you go, enjoy that Tonka truck. And he started crying. I was like, damn, all I did was tell him to enjoy that toy. And then I realized my dick was out. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just like, hey, maybe I should zip when I come out of the bathroom. I mean, that's the least I can do because I don't wash my hands. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I keep it clean. I know where it's been. I don't think I need to wash my hands. I mean, I very rarely find that it's detached itself and went on a journey without me. But it does have its own little tiny suitcase. It's crazy. It's been the places I'll never be. Paris Hilton. <laughs> was just bags. I would never fuck her. She's really gross. She's got that little dog. Like, what does he do when she's, like, getting boned out? Is he just watching? Is he the one filming it? Is that the guy who you hear going, oh, yeah. It's gonna make us some money. Just put it in there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy, though, because I am single. I don't know why, because, you know, I pull off pink pretty well. I know, right? God damn. I'm so glad I mixed up my reds and my whites in the wash. This is totally a mistake. Mixed up my work uniform with my funeral shirt. <laughs> Which, I don't know how that would happen. I guess it would mean I wear them at the same frequency. Every time I do go to work, I do more to death. My independence, my freedoms, some flipping fucking burgers for people. Flipping burgers for people and I can't even afford to buy one. It's messed up. Make it seven fifty an hour. But it's good to be employed though. It's better than making nothing an hour. You were right. Because now I can can stop mooching out with my mom, being like, hey mom. We might have uh, some people up there that doing some Valentine's Day or something on Drive all the way out to Bellevue to give it to me, too. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's because my mama loves me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, being single is crazy, though, because, I don't know, I've been doing stand-up since, I think, June or something. I don't know, I'm usually stoned, so I don't remember. But, uh, like, I've been getting more confident and stuff and talking to chicks more in bars and all that. And it's usually like at a time when I'll be working out a joke or something with somebody. Like last time it happened, there was this just random chick, some blonde chick, sitting at our table. I don't know where the fuck she came from. She was just there for a while, so I was like, well, maybe she's just, you know, part of the scenery. And um, 
I'm telling a joke to my friends. And like afterwards, they're all laughing and shit, and they go off to get more beers and all that. And she looks at me and she goes, wow, dude, you're really funny. And I was like, oh yeah? I'll silly my dick in your ass. She's like, oh, that sounds like fun. I don't have any plans in the morning. And I was, she, can you cook? And I was like, well, yeah, I can as long as you got a microwave and instructions. So, so I'm sitting there talking to her and everything, and we start dating or whatever. And uh, I think this is bullshit, but she broke up with me recently just because one night she wouldn't have sex with me, so I went and woke her son up and beat him at Mario Kart. <laughs> I take that shit seriously. It's like, man, you little bastard using the fucking blue shell. That's bullshit. How come I can't ever get the blue shell when I need it? But I take that seriously. And like, so usually I try to take girls to date to like to the family fun center or GameStop or something. But I decided to stop doing that because I always whoop my ass by button mashing. Which if you're a gamer and you're like seriously in a street fight or something, you know that shit'll piss you off. So they're sitting there trying to do super combos, and they just hit the punch button and kill your ass. Like, man, I've been trying to do that shit for 30 minutes. How'd you beat me? It's ridiculous. But like, the last girl I took to a game store, it was ridiculous, because I actually met, like, one of my idols. I call him Darth Gamer. She's like the dude that's always, while you're playing Call of Duty or something online, the dude that's always breathing heavy. Like he's the, actually the guy running in the game. He'll just be sitting there. <sighs> hey, dude, did you see that? He tried to get me with that RC car bomb, but I ran from it. <sighs> Ain't nobody sticking no sticky grenades on me today. Get a glass of water, some chips, and they be sitting there eating chips. It piss you off, cause you're like, man, why you gotta eat the chips in my ear? I can't afford chips. I just spend my whole paycheck on Call of Duty. It's <laughs> damn. I forgot where I was gonna go with that. On to the next one. <laughs> so recently, I started watching the Cleveland Show. And I used to have this joke with a bunch of my old friends that I was actually Cleveland. Because I kind of talk like him, I guess. I don't really see it, because I've also heard that I talk like Christian Slater. And I say, pick one. God damn it. You're confusing me. Who do I sound like? In my mind, I sound like Barry White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun times. So, you know, if anybody wants my number because they're lonely later, Barry White can tug you in. <laughs> oh, I need to stop freestyling this shit. It's getting ridiculous. I'm starting to feel like the Lil Wayne of comedy. <laughs> Only I have talent. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad somebody appreciated that jab at Lil Wayne. But if he's here tonight, I'm sorry. Don't punch me in the face. It's all I got. You can tell by looking at me that that's not much. <laughs> Sympathy, I like it. What other things can I... I had a puppy once. <laughs> we were the best of friends. We had matching pajamas. They're not exactly matching because mine had puppies on it and his had little boys. <laughs> it was awesome. Gotta thank my grandma for that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh gosh. Damn train of thought. It's left the station. Just like my dad. <laughs> he didn't leave because of me. He left because of my brother. That dude's a dick. Like, I'm serious. The other day, I was walking through Walmart with him. And I was right behind him, and I had my nephew in the car with me. My other nephew was with his fiance, girlfriend, baby mama, whatever the fuck us black people call it these days. And um, he like ripped ass right in front of me. He turns around, he's like, "Oh, watch out for the eye of tornado or the tornado." And I was like, "Man, you mean the fucking brown eye of some unnatural shit? What the fuck have you been eating?" And like. 
it didn't bother me as much because I grew up with the dude, but the look on my nephew's face was like someone had just shot his mom right in front of him and then started eating her intestines. Like zombie style, just ruthless with it. And then tried to offer him some. And I was like, look, you're traumatizing your son here, man. So he does it again. I'm like, God damn it, dude. Like, so I go to the champagne aisle and just ripped a cork off. And I was like, next time you do that, this is going up your ass, dude. So he does it again. And I ripped his pants off in front of everybody in Walmart and shoved a cork in his ass. Which was embarrassing. Just because... You know, I ripped the dude's pants. Probably looked really bad. But I was like, no, it's okay, he's my brother. We do this all the time. <laughs> God damn it, I had a shitty childhood. Because we did used to do that all the time. <laughs> Couldn't afford toys, so it was like, just go out and rip each other's pants off. <laughs> Until I got to be like 16, I didn't realize that there was anything wrong with that. Like, I was trying to play it at parties with people, and they'd be like, What the fuck are you doing, man? I'm ripping my pants up. And I'm like, uh, It's fun, right? Uh, uh. I'm like, No, dude, you got problems. You have issues. You need to see a psychiatrist. I was like, Well, shit. Maybe that's why my dad left. He got tired of getting his pants ripped up <laughs> in public. <laughs> Good times, great oldies. <laughs> John, point, something, rather. Anywho, the other day, I was watching Jersey Shore, and I caught a preview for Your Cut Off. I was like, this show could be sweet. VH1 is finally doing programming for guys. Apparently, that's not some sort of show about people getting limbs cut off. <laughs> it's about these rich, perpy bitches who have to go and be on TV to do shit in sort of a boot camp. Like normal shit that you and I would do, or maybe shit that I would do, like cleaning bathrooms in a McDonald's and shit. But anyway, they think it's like really disgusting and everything. This one chick just... Yeah, I watched it, so fuck what. <laughs> There's one chick that starts crying, she's like, Oh, I miss my daughter, blah, blah. And I was like, well, bitch, maybe if you'd do some chores around the house, your husband wouldn't have sent you here. Having a maid for everything, and you live in a two-bedroom trailer. Lazy bitch. That's a terrible joke. That wasn't well thought out at all. Like many of the decisions in my life. Hence the fast food job. But before that, I used to work at a pawn shop, so I feel a lot better because I'm not like ripping people off now. <laughs> I mean, on accident. I'm doing it on purpose still. It's great though, because I can get away with it now because I live in Bellevue. And like stuff like that usually doesn't happen, so they're usually like, it was that black guy. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just a Guido. I'm just really tan. <laughs> you seen my show? Jersey Shore? I'm Polly D. Fifteen years later. Actually, I think we're probably the same age, or I'm probably older than him. So that doesn't work out. Shit! This chord's fun. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, the other day I was playing Red Dead Redemption, and I unlocked this horse called War. It was pretty sweet. Now my horse is called Pestilence. Which when I unlocked it, it said, it's practically impossible to kill Pestilence. So being the sicko that I am, I shot him in the head a few times. It's not that hard to kill him. It only took two fucking bullets. Which I guess, the normal horse takes one, so I guess that's near impossible. Apparently the definition of impossible has changed. Just like the definition for the word queer. Cause I got in trouble for that shit one day in junior high. Told my buddy Andre, I was like, dude, you're so queer, man. And like he got offended and I didn't understand why. I got detention for it, so I had to pull out the dictionary and be like, look, I'm not calling him gay or nothing. I don't even know what that means. So I'm a seventh grader and all I do is sit on my fat ass and play video games. 
So you gotta explain to me how that means he's gay, because in the dictionary it says weird or absurd. The principal was like, well, touche, but you're still fat. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, that may be true. Actually, that is true. <laughs> Maybe I should start eating the school lunches instead of bringing my own. It's fucked up. It's hard to lose weight when you have a bad day of school and you go home and your mom's like, Oh, why are you crying? I'm like, because kids are calling me fat again. She's like, oh, that's all right. Eat this cake. And, uh, you'll be better. Go ahead, baby. Have a have this pan of brownies and play some Super Mario. Exercises for losers, baby. I'm like, shit. Exercises for losers. And how come all the winners are exercising? <laughs> sucks being taught that doing nothing in life makes you a winner because now that's all i want to do and i can't do it i always got to be doing something changing a diaper with a child that isn't mine it's fucked up so my brother's girlfriend is always like making jokes that that's my baby and shit i'm like no that's not my baby is it <laughs> That's a fucked up way to tell me. Could have just pulled me aside and said, "Hey, I think this might be your child." Instead, you just got house me in front of everybody. You be at church and shit. Sitting there, what does that have to do with Jesus? You're the preacher, goddammit. Talking about our personal life and shit. That's not true. I didn't do anything with my brother's girlfriend. <laughs> I don't keep it in the family like that. Unless she was Kim Kardashian. <laughs> but if that could ever happen, I wouldn't be here right now because I'd be like, fucking God or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guy with my physique, all doughy and such. But I feel adorable at times. Like, usually girlfriends have pet names for me, like, oh, dough boy. Or, Oh, my little cuddle bug. And I'm always like, why you gotta pick out a nickname for me that if somebody that doesn't see me, they know what I look like automatically. Because when you hear cuddle bug, you picture a fat dude. At least I do. Because shit, that's all fat dudes know how to do is cuddle. I'm serious. 27 years old and I'm still a... No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, roofies. Don't sell those to anybody. As long as you got the right idea in mind. No, I'm not gonna use these to date rape anybody. You see, I'm practicing to be a veterinarian. I need them to knock out my cat so I can switch its kidneys around and then resell them in or some shit. Whatever veterinarians do for fun. <laughs> I'm thinking about going into a profession of being a podiatrist. I don't know why, just something about feet and stuff like that. I think I have the right sense of humor for it. Like, wow, your toes are really in a jam. Like, no, seriously, wash them shit. That's disgusting. The lunch is about to come back up. Yuck. Why did I decide to do this profession? I think I'm just gonna work my way to management at McDonald's. Use that to hire impressionable young girls. Teach them how teenage boys suck and how they should go for older dudes. As long as they're 18 or over. Wink, wink. Did I say that part? I meant to just do it. Sorry, I'm kinda high. My hand eye. I, I, whatever coordination isn't, it's all befuddled and gooey, just like my freezer or something. Damn. Just looking out and seeing all these shining faces makes me feel good to know that some of you have left. For those that didn't, I'm going to now rip my pants down. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah! Don't make us laugh. Do it. Oh no! <laughs> Nobody needs to see that shit. Eight dollars! I mean, for eight dollars, maybe. <laughs> I do have some clips on YouTube about that, though, of me doing wild and crazy things for eight dollars. Hey, I have eight dollars. 
Well, shit. All right, I might do one here live. Let me stand up here. Cause my ass is numb. One thousand hits already. <laughs> is it that many? Last time I checked, it was twenty-three. <laughs> Which I'm 